Remember I told you we were going to get together on a very, very special day and we're going to hear the rest of this story. So happy Easter to all of you. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Now it might be a little cloudy, but you know what? God's light is shining down. So today we're going to talk about Easter. And when you think of Easter, what do you think about? I bet you think about Easter eggs and Easter egg hunts, which you probably didn't get to do unless you get to do it around the house. That, that's great this year. You might think of chocolate bunnies or the Easter bunny, but let me tell you what Easter is. It's all about Jesus. And we have eggs, right? Okay, eggs, we, we think about eggs because there's new life in an egg. And I have an egg right here. This is an egg. Now, this is a real egg. This isn't just a, a plastic egg. But how do we know it's an Easter egg, though? Well, it's because I colored it, right? It's not white and it's not brown. It's blue, right? So what do we find inside a real egg? If we were to open this egg, what are we supposed to find in it? There's an egg yolk, like the yellow part, and then there's the white part as well. And I wonder what would happen if I would smash this egg. Now, I want you to know I didn't cook it first. I forgot to do that. So shall we see what's gonna happen? Well, we know that inside of the plastic Easter eggs, there's usually candy. And we know that the egg yolk and the white should be in this one. So let's see what happens. Are you ready? Now, if I make a mess here in the church, you know Heather's not gonna be very happy with me, but we're gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Ready, set. There was nothing in the egg. Look at that, nothing. And I didn't even get all messy. And I didn't make a mess, so I'm not in trouble. Now, how'd that make you feel when you saw that egg and there was nothing in it? Well, let me tell you a story. On Easter morning, we, they didn't call it Easter back in Jesus' day, but his friends went to the tomb where they laid him after he died. And they were going to do some special things because they have traditions like we do when people die. But when they got to the tomb, the stone was rolled away and there was no one there. Jesus was gone. And the his friends, they, they were very scared and they were surprised and they didn't know what to do. And so they just kind of were standing there and, and they didn't know what to do. And, and all of a sudden, Mary was there crying and Jesus said her name. Jesus said Mary, and she knew exactly then who he was. Jesus had risen from the dead. He was alive, and that's what Easter is about. It's all about Jesus beating death and being alive. So how do you think then Mary felt? I'll bet she was so excited and Jesus told her to run and tell Peter and John and all the disciples that he was alive. So with our eggs, especially this egg, was it a good thing that this egg was empty? Well, probably, so I didn't make a mess. But we do like to have eggs. We like to have, have them cooked for breakfast. And we like the candy in the Easter eggs, the plastic ones, but was it a good thing that the tomb was empty? That's the best thing of all. The tomb was empty and Jesus is alive. Now they weren't sure what, what to think, Jesus' friends. You know, they were kind of, kind of nervous, but the empty tomb is still the best news of all. Jesus is alive. And because Jesus rose from the dead, that when we die, we can all live with him alive in heaven. And that's the best news of all. So let's pray. God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you he died for us. Thank you he rose again. Help us to live like Jesus, loving people and helping them the best we can. We love you, God. Amen.